Hey guys, so let's do ED8s. ED8s actually was my largest amount of cards, mainly because I'm making new ED8 decks. Uh, Rhea, Scepter. I wanted to get foil versions of these, but I couldn't find them. This card is very interesting. Uh, it's a lot more valuable than you expect it to be. So check out the price in this card, because I did not imagine it was the price um, I found it at. Uh, time obviously this card has gone up in price due to the combo which is not really working but hey uh, another Hulk card master these cards were pretty much near bulk and again I went shop hopping at various uh, comic they pretty much were comic book stores I don't know maybe they did F in them as well but I really didn't see like the calendar and stuff I have at my home so yeah, I went to various stores and picked up um, not any high-end stuff uh, because you know high-end stuff I like to pick up from my own locals. But this is just fun to do. I was with a friend and we had a lot of fun picking these up for a dollar or two, maybe even the last days. <laughs> just a hat. This card is kind of pricey. I don't know if it's seen a reprint, but the last time I looked, it was pricey. This card has gone down in price. So Echo Mage is pretty good. Again, another pricey card. Some of these just random EDH stuff, uh, if you buy them at the dollar bin, so all of these were pretty much the dollar bin, and I think the Mythics, they were charging like $2 a Mythic. But, uh, and then Uncommons. <laughs> these were very, very cheap. Oh, now we get into the good stuff. So they had a dollar bin, or what was it? It was a 50 cents binder, and then they had a dollar binder. You just had to keep them in separate piles. A lot of this came from, and this card is very expensive. This card is extremely expensive as a foil. I got it for like a dollar, maybe less. Uh, this card I got for a dollar. This card I got for a dollar. Uh, this card I got for a dollar, dollar, dollar. And even these cards I got for dollars, which were, you know, it's pretty good. So I had a really good time. I mean, this whole, I either in this entire they, outside the Redeemer, the Redeemer I bought as a single. I'm trying to figure out um, if anything costs more than a dollar. No, I think everything just costs a dollar. Even this costs a dollar. So I went to three different stores in Dallas. And I will be going to the Dallas GP because my friend lives there. So it makes a lot of sense for me to hang out with her and then just go just drive down there or take an uber or something so uh rent probably rent a car i have like enough enterprise points that like i can upgrade my car <laughs> my rental car or i can just drive there i don't know there's many many options but for the most part i picked up these for mostly a dollar this card i know i did not pick up for a dollar and there was probably like a few other ones where it was not a dollar I have a feeling that this one I was not a dollar. Oh, this was not. This definitely was not. These two were not a dollar. Uh, but for the most part, they were just dollars. Um, which were fantastic because the land was really great. I think Life in the Loam was not a dollar, but everything else was, I think Scepter was in a different binder. So everything else was a dollar. And I think that was a very good pickup. I had a lot of fun doing it. And it's kind of like video game hunting. Uh, my friend, we go video game hunting as well in Houston, as well as Dallas, and sometimes we even go to San Antonio, and it's a lot of fun. I haven't really gone magic game hunting. Magic game hunting is a little different. You don't go to flea market, because most flea markets don't have magic cards, except the one that has a store dedicated to cards and collectibles. But when you go to shop hopping, it's kind of fun. It's kind of like bar hopping, except it's more smelly. <laughs> well, probably equally smelly. Anyway, bye guys.